everyone. Um, today I am going to start off by talking a little bit about Club Nintendo. As you're all aware, I'm sure it is closing down, so that's probably why when they offered the 2014 gifts, they were pretty lame. They were all downloadable content. And I was pretty disappointed because I had already achieved platinum status for that year. I worked really hard at it, and some people actually gave me a few points, so I was really happy with the platinum status, and then I was hoping that there was going to be some sort of physical gift, like a statue, or a plushie, or some sort of shirt or book or something that would be really interesting. So I was very, very disappointed to see that there was only downloadable content. So in light of the fact now that Club Nintendo is shutting down, they released, I think, about 12 gifts or so. I can't remember exactly the number of actual physical gifts that you could get. And I was sort of deciding between the Zelda puzzle and the Zelda Majora's Mask um, messenger bag. And I was trying to think which one I'd like the best. Um, I'm not really into the puzzle things, but I thought the bag could be somewhat useful. It'd be kind of neat for display. The puzzle, you'd have to put it together, and then you'd have to glue it and everything to display it, So unless you just use the box. So I decided with the messenger bag. Now, I am a little bit disappointed, though, that there is an actual, like, a colored-in image. I was hoping, because it's kind of... In my opinion, at least, it's a little bit hard to see the character. You can't really see the word Zelda. Like, I mean, it's not going to be something you could easily find. I don't know why they wouldn't want to have that embroidered nicely on there, but I'm not too disappointed with the gift. It's just, I was hoping that Club Nintendo would continue on. That was kind of a point of actually going out to buy games sometimes, just so you get the points. And I was always looking forward to registering a machine or registering games so you could, you know, go on there and pick out something. I did receive some presents from there before I got a Nintendo Mario like little pouch because I had some extra points and I ordered three Mario posters which I've never even taken out of the package yet. I was going to get the Zelda posters they had out a little while ago but I missed them and then that's why I used the rest of my points for this messenger bag. So um, if you'd like to let me know what you got from Club Nintendo, if you are a retro gamer you're probably not getting the Club Nintendo stuff unless you are saving up points just to get the cool merchandise. But either way, if you've ordered something from there, let me know in the comments. I'd like to see what everybody's picked out. And maybe let me know about some of the gifts you've gotten in the past, like if you've gotten one of those uh, pretty cool statues they had out a few years ago. I wasn't really doing too much on the club years ago, and I didn't know there was anything for like the platinum gifts or the gold gifts and stuff like that. So as for game finds this week or last week or two here, it's actually been quite good. I had some friends and family well, extended family come out from Alberta and they brought me some stuff. I also found a few things at the thrift store. I've got quite a few things here so I'm just going to basically go through it all right now because it's like a mix of things and I think you'll think it's pretty cool because I do have some neat items. I have some Nintendo stuff and some systems and some PlayStation 2 stuff so let's get started. But we'll first start off with a couple things that I picked up. I got a, I'm not sure if I showed it on the last video but um, I've been kind of busy the last couple weeks here. Um, I got a Game Boy Advance SP case, and I thought it, it's not really something I need. I have a little Pokemon one for myself, but I thought it would look good if, with the system that I have for sale that I could put it in here, and then, you know, it kind of makes a nice little package, or maybe I'll sell it separately, I really don't know, or I might just keep it. I recently picked up a Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess CD case. I have a couple of these, but I think anything with Zelda on it's always nice. Then I got another cool find. Da 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 da! Nintendo 64 box. I thought that was pretty cool. It's a little bit damaged, but not too bad. And this would be really great because I do have one for myself, which I just picked up recently last year at the big garage sale in town. And um, so this one would be perfect for putting in a system that I want to sell. And it will obviously bring up the value pretty high. I actually had one lady approach me today and she knew that I used to sell at the flea market. And she was like, oh, do you have any systems for sale? You know, you were selling them before, and I didn't really want to get into the fact that, you know, they're kind of valuable and stuff because she goes to all the thrift stores and stuff too. So I was like, oh, no, I, I don't have any more of those. Um, I, I'm not since the flea market because, you know, it, you don't want any competition, right? She said she had games and she wanted some stuff, but I'd rather get the games from her. I don't want her really looking after this, looking for the stuff that I want, so... I was not going to get involved. I told her to go on Kijiji. I mean, there's some good deals out there. She can find them for herself. The system that I got was a PlayStation 2 Slim. I do have the cords and stuff, but they're not in the picture right now. I just put them to the side. Um, I did get some games with it and also picked up some games, so I'll show you what I have. Resident Evil Code Veronica. 
The Hulk, Simpsons Hit and Run, Smackdown Raw 2006, ATV Off-Road Fury 3, Ultimate Spider-Man, Snow Cross 2, Ratatouille, Nitro Bike, G.I. Joe. I was actually kind of excited about this one, Pro Stroke Golf, because we play golf in this house. Power Rangers Super Legends, and Final Fantasy X2. Also at the thrift store, I picked up a Final Fantasy movie called Advent Children. I do have this, I believe, on the PSP that I just got, but I kind of wanted to have it. I thought it would be kind of nice to go with my collection, so I picked that up for a couple bucks as well. Now, onto the NES games. I do have some for sale here, and I got a really good one for my collection as well. So we've got Dodgeball, Batman, Super Mario Brothers 3. I wasn't gonna grab this one, but then I realized, you know, you just don't come across them that often and they go really good with systems you're going to sell. Of course, I have this one myself boxed for myself, but um, yeah, it'd be a good pickup. Racket Attack. Airwolf. California Games. And Mario Brothers. And the two final ones are Ninja Turtles. I do have this one already, um, but it's always a good title. You can't go wrong with Ninja Turtles. And the one I got for myself specially is Kid Icarus. I think I'm saying that right, but maybe I'm saying it wrong. But it sounds like Kid Icarus to me. Anyway, I didn't have this one yet, and I was so happy to get it because it's a really cool little side-scrolling game, and I was just looking it up on YouTube, so it looks like a good one to play. And I was really, really happy to get that one because it's one of the more rare games. You don't really get them too often anymore. So that's my pickups for these last two weeks and my gifts from friends. Um, I hope you liked watching and see you next time. Bye.